in this video I show you how to make an aquaponic system. I'm going to teach you uh, the way I'm building my aquaponic systems because I'm actually making more than one. Uh, I'm, just like you're seeing this structure, I'm, I'm working right now building the, the, the rafters. I'm using some um, wood that I got from uh, the home improvement store. This is a Lowe's close by where I live and they have something called cold lumber which is kind of twisted and stuff like that so i've been saving a little bit of the wood and i'm building my own those panels that you see around there is panels that i got from houses window panels that i got from houses that that are having uh, the windows restored so you can get in touch with a window company or just you know i mean they will be glad to give you the the, the panels sometimes they sell it for really cheap so that that's a nice thing because they're insulated i mean they're not like um, you know, they're, they're really good to work with. So I separated the studs uh, 32 inches because of the panels that I have. I'm using pressure treated wood. They were all uh, uh, cemented on the bottom. You know, I made some nice footers and I put them together. This building is less than 12 by 12. When I say less than 12 by 12, the reason I'm inside the city and they require uh, um, uh, maximum of 144 square feet if you want to make your own little building without permits. Other than that, you have to, you know, call the inspections, have the footers open so they can see where you're doing that, submit a, a drawing of what you want to do. But uh, they, they will, you know, they will allow you to do whatever as long as you have the space and the, you, know, you meet the requirement. In this case, we're going to put some translucent uh, um, um, uh, thin roof and we're going to obviously isolate the stuff we're going to have some uh, vents that normally people use for crawl spaces and they open and close depending on the temperature i'm going to add a little um um clay uh heater you know that is just wood heater so whenever it's like ice storms and stuff like that i will be able to to help a little bit to maintain it so the water will be pumping from where i'm going to have the koi pond or you know a fish pond and I may go to a close by river and try to get some catfish that are really you know uh, good for that purpose um, I have to bring some water with me so I have to get some buckets and bring some water from the river because the, the water has some bacteria that will help us to decompose the the, the you know the, the, the residues of the food and on the, the fish waste and that, that will help us to to have all the all the nutrients for our beds we're gonna have two beds and some hanging plants and that will um, actually maintain us working so I'm gonna add in the short future I will show you in another video I'll add a solar panel that will uh, um, move the 12 volt pump that I'm gonna put I'll bring a little extra power you can bring it with a core that is waterproof or whatever but you can bring some extra power just to maintain the water flow and remember that it, that the water has to constantly work 24 hours for you to uh, have a successful aquaponic system okay so stay tuned and, and thank you very much